Hi, Jay. Welcome to the Informix India Annual Musical 2012. I'm glad you made it from USA. How do you feel? I'm excited to be here, and you called it the annual Informix User Group for India, but it's actually the first, right? That's so this was like a kickoff. I know. And, and for me, it was a real honor to be here, and you know, we had a great crowd, and it, it was it was exciting to hear how our technology is being used here in India. All right, that's good to know. So, Jenny, I have a question. This is you know, a question that a lot of people want to know from you. What is the roadmap for Informix in 2012? Well, I, I think it, it's important, first of all, to look back a little bit. You know, last year, there was a lot of technology that we introduced into the market. We released version 11.7, which introduced some technology that we call flexible grid. Essentially, what that is, is it's, it's technology that supports clustering, but it allows uh, a, a company to leverage heterogeneous hardware in a cluster. It also allows them to use shared disk technology, and they can use this for scale out, they can use it for workload balancing, they can use it to guarantee 24 by 7 availability. And one of the key messages that we had with that, that technology was maintenance and upgrades without any downtime, which is extremely valuable to any customer. So that was a key piece of technology that we introduced with version 11.7. Another piece of technology that we released last year was something that we called the Ultimate Warehouse Edition, which the, the core component of that is something that, that's called the Informix Warehouse Accelerator, which is an in-memory, columnar-based warehouse that uses extreme compression. And what, what we've been able to prove with benchmarks is that it is extremely fast. We like to talk about it in terms of analytics at the speed of thought. And we've had customers who have benchmarked that technology and they've seen performance improvements of 500, 700 times. So incredible performance. Another piece of technology that we introduced last year is something that's called Genero. We, we OEM that from, from one of our partners, 4Js. And, and the, the idea behind the Genero technology is it allows customers to modernize the 4 j environments, to develop and deploy new applications, not only in the web space or Windows, but more importantly, in today's world and to the mobile space as well. So that is really a key piece of technology around our our efforts to help modernize our, our customers. In terms of roadmap for this year, uh, we're, we're busy working on being exits, code name Centaurus. Uh, there's a lot of focus in that release around, around warehouse technology, around modernization, uh, leveraging some of our, our unique technologies of time series and spatial to focus on, on smarter planet initiatives to take advantage of, 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 again, unique technology that provides a unique opportunity in the marketplace for, for those solutions. And then to continue to focus on, on enhancing the overall OLTP capabilities of, of our database, which we've hardened and it has become the premier database for embedded applications as well. So that release is something that we're working on this year. We'll actually start the beta uh, in the middle of the year. It looks like we have a lot to look forward to. We do. We do. We have a lot of great technology that's there available today, and, and we're excited about our next release. And looking forward to coming back to India and hopefully seeing even a larger user group. Thanks a lot for your time, Jay. We know you're a great user. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Lord.